Hey, today I'm talking about the new historical drama Lee. This stars Kate Winslet and features Alexander Skarsgård, Andy Sandberg, and a number of other actors that you would recognize. And the basic premise is this former model is also an incredibly talented photographer, but in a world of misogyny, she has to break out on her own to take awesome photos of World War II. And it's all right. Kate gives a good performance. She She's a solid lead. I like her characterization of Lee a lot. I think she did a good job there. Really all of the characters definitely stood out and were interesting. I in particular loved Andy Sandberg. I am biased towards him, but it is nice to see him in a non-comedic role. I don't think this is his strongest performance, but it wasn't a bad performance by any means. I definitely think like the base ideas of the story are interesting, but the script just isn't that strong. They definitely rely on a lot of cliches, a lot of overdone things. Like a good for instance is the first time she meets her future husband they immediately peg each other and can perfectly describe exactly who the other person is just within the first 30 seconds of meeting one another. And I'm like cool great. Sure that definitely happened. But there's just other little stuff like that. Also I feel like the story just covered too much time and went too fast through all those things. I think it really should have just stuck with like one smaller section of her life and just spent more time in those moments. Completely cut out the framing device of she's having a conversation with some guy. Because like though that was interesting, it's ultimately unimportant to the experience of the movie. If I were to decide, I would say just focus on when she is in World War II, in particular when she was with Andy Samberg. Because I think their chemistry and their dynamic was good and needed to be explored more because there wasn't enough there. And there's so much room to explore and so many interesting ideas to explore. Plus like that's the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. It's the horrors that she witnessed in World War II. So great, let's focus on those as much as possible to really haunt us with it because that's what the whole thing is about. If she had PTSD from this, she, so to let us really sit in those horrors will then elevate the horrors and make us understand her perspective even more. I really didn't give a shit about meeting her partner or really her time even before the war. Give us just the war and let us sit in it and it would have been more solid. It's definitely not a bad experience as is. It is still an interesting experience, but as is, it definitely is a movie that's lacking. It's not bad, but it's got a lot of room for improvement. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 61 in the liked section. This is at a total of 72 new movies so far this year.